Well, good evening. <laughs> I am so happy that you're here. Give me a thumbs up or clap again if you can hear me. Yay. Hello, Anthony and your wife. I know I was in a space, uh, in a space, ha, on a, on a fireside the other night and I saw you there. Um, I hope you're both of you here together. That would be amazing. And hello, Ron. Thank you. I wonder what that little world means. Did you share this with the world? That would be so amazing. My name is Graciela Moore. And if that's too complicated, you can call me Grace. Welcome to Full Moon Magic and Mindfulness. Our second episode in the Moon Magic and Mindfulness with Grace series. I'm so happy that you're here and we are going to talk about the full moon happening on Friday. Yay! Full moon in Aquarius. Yes, and I don't get into horoscopes. You know, you do your homework for yours. I know about my horoscope. We're not going to talk about that in this show. We are here to really just use the moon as the, you know, point in the sky that we can all Yeah, the point in the sky that we can all just relate to because we're all under it. We're under the same moon and under the same sun. So any religious or spiritual practice that you and your family share, that's amazing. And we're not going to talk about that either. (laughs) This is all about the magic of mindfulness, the magic of really strategizing for the things that we are, you know, that we want to create and that we want to call in the blessings that we are hoping for. Whoever you pray for, oh, I'm so happy that you do. And so Monday was the very first episode of this show. And as promised, the, the full moon or the new moon episodes are all about going deeper in the conversation. Thank you. Going deeper into that mindfulness conversation about, you know, answering the journal promptings and actually journaling. So I'm going to take a few minutes to do that. And then dun, 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 after we journal, the most exciting part of the full moon and the new moon cycles is that we paint live. So if you didn't bring paint, brushes, water, and some kind of paper to this occasion, you can watch it again. And definitely I recommend that you do that with the materials. Or now you know that for the new moon and the full moon, we're always going to paint. And so, you know, I like to take a few moments to journal from from the journal promptings that I will give you. And then we paint over it. What? And it's super fun because then nobody sees what I wrote. It's just between me and spirit. You know, not even my husband knows what's under here. It's just, it's really about me and connecting and figuring out what is the next right step? What is the next highest, best, most authentic expression of you know, where I am currently in life and how best can I serve? How best can I be a vessel of that peace that I want or of the healing that I want or of the happiness that I want, right? Because we obviously want to transcend and share all of these blessings with others. So always wondering, like, how can I just do better for others, for my family, for myself, right? And all of these questions are the questions that I like to ask and to prompt you with. And to get your mind thinking so that you can then strategize. And what I mean by strategy, hello, Jason, welcome to the room. Welcome to Moon Magic and Mindfulness with Grace. What I was going to talk about. Thank you. So strategizing, that would be like the even deeper conversation after painting. You know, you can definitely bring all of this insight that you get in this show, bring it to your coach, bring it to your mentor, bring it to your spouse, bring your spouse over here. We want to hang out. And so 
the strategy is about figuring the next steps, you know, like what homework do you need to do to be able to create what you want to create? Who do you need to call? Who do you need to book? How much do you need to invest for it? You know, so all of these things is what I do in my work. I am an ICF certified coach. That's the International Coaching Federation. I'm a licensed real estate agent. So if you're trying to buy or sell a house, you can definitely ask me questions. I'll do my best to answer. And just so many other things that I'm so excited and blessed and happy to share with you all. So (laughs) let's talk about the full moon. Like I said, we're not going to get into horoscopes in my show. I don't do that. Um, This is not that type of show. And really, it's about the new moon is the beginning of the cycle. First of all, it's not the full moon. The full moon just gets all the attention because, duh, it's big and beautiful and it lights up the sky. So I totally get it. But I didn't want to wait. I didn't want to just make all of us do the Monday thing and wait another two weeks for the new moon because we started on Monday and I want to keep that traction going. And this full moon is pretty intense because you might have heard or seen on social media something about a lion's gate, gate, portal, I don't even know. And it opened on Monday and it closes on Friday. And so I was like, you need to do this then. Or maybe that was spirit. Spirit said, like, do it then, right? And so here we are. And it's probably even better. It's probably what we all need. We need to have this conversation right now and not wait until the new moon. So let me tell you about what the full moon is in the lunar cycle and all that. It's about releasing. It is about figuring out The things that are getting in your way, like a relationship that needs better communication so that the situation can flow better, that is an obstacle. How are we going to approach it? The full moon is about asking that type of questions. Tell me what to do. Tell me what to do in this situation. And then, you know, release the blockage and have that conversation. It's about releasing the type of fear that just gets in the way of you creating what you want to create. And now I'm getting into the content creation aspect of things. So what's been holding you back, if anything? And what is that? Bring it into the focus in this type of conversation. You bring your awareness to it, not to ignore it or to deny that it's there well you're if you want to remain stuck then fine but we're focusing on the problem so that we can sweep it away paint over it and then look at a beautiful picture that's right that's what we're doing and so that's what the full moon is and then by releasing all of that if you saw the the Moon Day episode, which happens on Mondays at the same time, 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You heard me mention that for the full moon, that release opens up the space. Like, this is you and this is your space. And releasing opens up the space. But what happens before you put something else in it? Well, you have to cleanse. You have to purify. You have to just, you know, have a sip of water. And it is water today, I promise. Um, Sometimes it'll be uh, my chai tea or Coca-Cola because I just, I like all of those. So, (laughs) yes, Ron. Yes, Ron loves Coke too, Coca-Cola. So, you know, in that release and in that cleanse, you just, again, mindfully and very, very intentionally, intention is everything, right? Right. You really just open yourself up and you cleanse however best you think and you send that message with the intention. You send the message to spirit, deity, God, heavenly father, Jesus Christ, whatever you want to call it, right? You send that message that you're open to receive those blessings that you really want to work so hard for, that you are working so hard for, that you are doing the right thing for, whatever that is for you. And so this is the type of conversation that I like to have. 
And this is why we're here on Fireside. Yay! So thank you again for being here. And, uh, and you know, I have all of the materials ready. I have my paint here, and I have my water here, and I have the journal here, and I have the bowl that we can definitely take a few breaths with. But I want to check in with you. So if you would like to come up and say hello, then let's have a conversation about those promptings. Let's have a conversation about what is it that you want to do. And we could even strategize live if you feel like it. It's really just about you. And if not, then we're going to go straight into um, the meditation. But no, because Jason is here. Hello, Hello, my Jason. friend. Good to see you. Um, I don't know so, if you want to come up to video, but do you want to? Sure, I can. Sure, Ooh, that's I can. fun. Um, I'm so excited. Let me just put on my hat and then, okay, because my hair is, I've been working on my podcasting equipment and all kinds of stuff. So to get into your topic, exactly. So there's a lot of things that, that I don't really necessarily follow the astrological aspect of how things really full out, but I follow what's called the Schumann resonance, which mm. is a uh, megahertz. Uh, and it deals with all the planets, how we operate as human beings. And one of the things that I've learned is that when certain things energetically wise come in, like in seasons, like what we're going through, um, we're going from summer to fall, things are coming off of us, things are dying. Like, it's great mm. to have the sun, you know, it's great to have the, to really see the moon and not be cold, but mm -hmm. everything, you know, as it falls off and dies, it feeds new source of energy. And that means also our attitudes. Um, it means the way that we love the way that we want to achieve our goals. When people, people are talking about manifestation and I feel like they kind of have hints, but they're kind of like missing the other important things, the action that's going around you and the action that you're in. Right. So, to really add to your content, I don't really get jittered when you hear like Mercury retrograde. I know dealing with my neurodiversity and I'm frustrated and I can't understand why. If I let it flow, I let it go to let me flow. I know like any tide, it will finish. It will stop. And those are the reflective moments and being mindful and writing down what you've gone through. And mm -hmm. what you've released, if you notice. That's right. And when you do all these things, how another layer comes off of you and a new layer shows up. Mm -hmm. So, um, and I don't talk about spirituality too much, but I talk about stoicism, which does relate, you know. That's right. Because it's emotional frequency. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. when I look and I learn to develop, and sometimes I'm very vulnerable on air. I release what no longer belongs to me and I attract the things that I want in my life or deserve. And sometimes I don't even know that I deserve it, but I, I get it. So yeah, mm -hmm. that's my, mm -hmm. my two cents. Yes. It's so wonderful to receive those blessings and be like, really, really? I feel so seen right now. So I know that, mm -hmm. that that's not the way that you talk about it, but I totally understand what you mean. I know exactly what you're talking about. And stoicism yeah. is wonderful. And I love the way that you bring it to your content as well. So again, I'm very happy that you're here and, and thankful that you joined me. And what you said about writing it down, write down what you went through and then see like when it actually happened. The full moon is not is actually not until Friday. And for some reason, I thought about doing it tonight. And then my insight was, well, this gives everyone, including myself, the chance to think about all these things in time for the full moon on Friday. So it ended up being, you know, the perfect timing, divine timing, like Torrente would say. Mm -hmm. And I'm just very happy. So thank you. Where are you going now? I've got to take back some headphones. I found a better deal, better sound. So a part of what we do as content creators, you got to keep up with the equipment and make it all blend in so that you're not uncomfortable because there's nothing worse when you have some things like, hey, this brand represented this. The sound was great, for example, like headphones. 
but it gets hot around your ears and then takes mm. you out of your flow. So trying to mm. work the tools in the flow of what you do yes. and the, what you want to produce, mm -hmm. um, set your tools up for your intentions to work with everything. So that's what I'm doing. I'm going to Best Buy, take back some Bose headphones. I did like mm -hmm. them, but they're not for what I'm going to do. And they were like 300 bucks. And the new ones that I got yeah. were 150. So I'm like, I'm all about saving money and getting extra yes. quality. So yeah. Bring it back. And that's that. But again, with what you shared, you're talking about listening to your body. If, the, if it's too uncomfortable, then do not use it. There's something else out there for you. So I completely agree. Thank you again for joining us, Jason. I'm going to go ahead and bring up Ron. Thank you. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, Ron. I, I clicked on the wrong button. Thank you so much um, for being here, Jason. <laughs> there you are. <laughs> hello. 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 Good evening, sir. How are Good you evening. doing? Doing very well. Yourself? I am doing wonderful. So excited and blessed that you're here. And tell me about, so you were here on Monday, everyone. Ron, remember him? He was here on Monday. Ron, did you get the equipment that you needed? <laughs> did you say we had, we do, did we, did you say that we needed it on, on Monday Oh, night? no, 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 no. That, oh, okay. no. Did you get, no, I'm just following up with you and your own equipment for content creation since Jason brought it up. Yes. Uh, I had, oh, you talking about specifically to him? No, to you. I want to follow up with you, whether you got your equipment or not. Right. I don't remember saying I needed equipment. Oh, well, you were waiting for something from Amazon. That I'm sorry. take to the guitar so center. I, yes, you're right. No, I have not received it yet. Oh, <laughs> okay, okay. About. Yes. So we're all still waiting. Okay, we're just still holding waiting. space and good vibes for you to get the equipment that you need. Absolutely. It's two items and I'm just waiting. Okay. Oh my gosh. It's so hard. <laughs> it's so hard. I'm I dying. I'm I know. <laughs> no, you're not dying. That would be negative. Just right. Talk. Yeah. No, we're so blessed to I'm be fine. alive. I'm fine. Yes, exactly. <laughs> Ate a good meal tonight. Ate a good meal tonight. I did uh, my jumping jacks. I'm fine. <laughs> <laughs> yes, so happy and so blessed and so ready to receive all the blessings. That's right. Oh, my goodness. I'm so happy. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're laughing. That's awesome. That's, That's great. Right. I love humor and bringing humor into this conversation. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, that's cool. You knew you knew I was waiting to say something. But uh, is, that, is that your nook, that little good, the back behind you? What is it? It's great. I love it. Thank you. This is my coaching corner. Thank you that's so much. That's perfect. It's like it. He bodies you, right? So much of you <laughs> yeah. is so much of you is surrounded surrounding you. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I, I specifically curated it, and you know, sometimes this will change. You know, I'll put something else here, and it's it's all blessings, and these are all real, by the way. The plants in my what? videos are all. Oh real. wow! That's fantastic. <laughs> yes, those are my plant babies. I take care I of them this. and water them every Wednesday. Yes. So, Ron. Mm -hmm. Graciela. Would you care to share a fear or something that you would like to release this full moon to make room for a blessing? And you can also say no. No is a complete sentence. It's not that I'm too uh, afraid to do it. It's just I, I can't properly think of anything to say right now. Um, and then you asked the question already and I already thought about it. For like for 10 minutes and I still can't think of anything specific unfortunately Ooh. well that's good though thank you yeah now I'm just gonna ask for the insight mm -hmm. to know exactly the perfect question for Ron so I'm excited for that meditation because you know that's where the questions yes. come <laughs> yes. And then we get to journal and paint. And everyone in the audience, Mel was here for a few seconds and then she left. Oh, um, no. That, it's okay. I don't mind. Oh, hello, Frankie right. J. We're going to talk to Frankie <laughs> next and say hello to awesome. him. And hello, Ron, um, are you going to paint or are we just going with the flow and Go. taking it all in? No painting for me tonight, but I'll be glad to stay and, and watch or, or yes, and watch me paint. Yes. 
<laughs> All right. That's <laughs> awesome. Thank you so much for being here. Uh, no Frankie problem. J., I would like to invite you up and Anthony as well. Anthony, if you are listening, uh, join us if you would like to talk about, um, ooh, Anthony is joining us. I'm so excited. Thank you, Ron. And Frankie J is up on stage. Oh my goodness, everybody's up on stage. Hi, Frankie J, how are you? I'm good, how are you doing? Thanks for the invite. Oh my gosh, thanks for coming. I'm so excited that you're here. And let me tell you, this conversation you had earlier was so good. Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm I'm working on it. I figured half hour shows, that's going to be my niche. You know what? I thought about that on Monday as well. I'm going to host this conversation on Mondays for motivation for the week. And we did a whole hour, but it's going to be a half hour for sure because this episode for the new moon and the full moon will always be deeper live painting. So that's a good for an hour. I have enough to do. Right. But yes, I agree. And we're talking about whatever fears we're letting go of resistance boundaries that we want to let go of during the full moon, release it to make room for what we want to actually create. And I know that you have a lot of plans and things coming. So is there one of those that you would like to share? Um, my, my plan is um, I actually, last football season, I was on another application, oddly enough, doing play-by-play and color analysis for football games. And it was great fun. So I'll be doing that on Thursdays and Sundays. But my major plan is to create a, a solid show where I interview and stick to a you know a format, uh, a, a formula, and have really interesting guests, you know, like yourself or other people that are participating in these applications, along with celebrities or athletes or anybody that's interested in sharing their stories, really. Yeah, that's amazing. I'm so excited for you. And so can you think of one thing that is um, or was prior to let's talk about maybe the recent two weeks getting in your way? Like, why am I not doing this? And I'll share my example for sure. I have no problem sharing that this show was supposed to premiere in June. And I put it off. I put it off because of this, this and that insecurity, or I don't have enough time or all of the excuses that we give ourselves. And then it becomes a self sabotage thing because we get in the way of ourselves. And now in August, here I am, you know, but I was struggling with it for weeks at a time. So what would you say? You know, I have the same problems. I And I think a lot of what my issues are with just getting on the horse and, and starting to ride is I, I micromanage at times and I feel as if my content's not going to be great. It's not going to be watched or, you know, I have those like inside gut or feelings internet. that... Right. Right, right, exactly. And... You know, when, you know, like you just, you made me feel really good when you said really great show today. And, and those are the kinds of things that'll, you know, really keep me going. And, you know, growing up, I wasn't ever given compliments. I was never used to, you know, being told good job or, or things like that. So for me, I'm learning how to accept love and compliments and, and things like that. And I think the more that happens, the more you'll see of me and energy lady actually told me earlier today that I haven't even come out of my shell yet. And she can tell that I've been holding back. Mm -hmm. So I don't think the real Frankie J has come out yet. And I don't want that to scare anybody, but <laughs> um, as she said, I'm wonky. <laughs> and that is a compliment. Cause I, you know, I'm a little different and I have a different way of, you know, verbalizing and, and I have a different way of translating when people explain things to me. So it might take, I have a different way of learning. I learn, I try to explain to people, I learn from the outside in. So when someone tells me a story 
I have to like take a moment to interpret it and then I understand it. So I have like a totally different process when it comes to learning and then a different process when it comes to implementing what I want to do. I think I overthink a lot and I have to follow my own rule. Overthinking will kill my happiness. And I don't want to say happiness, but it, it, it slows me down or holds me back. But I'm starting to, you know, come out of my shell a little bit more and, and, and get myself, you know, going on these platforms. And I think you've noticed that I've been a little more active lately than I was in the past which has been, you know, and uh, thank you for all the crap. So, yeah. yeah. Well, I wasn't active at all for like weeks and weeks at a time. So in the past week, I've seen you twice and that's wonderful. I feel so proud of you. And so you bring yeah. overthinking to the conversation. I overthink a lot as well. And, yeah. you know, with overthinking, I feel like a byproduct of it is decision fatigue. Which one do I do? Which one do I do? Well, I'm just not going to do any of it. And I'm just going to go to sleep and days go by and we don't make a decision. Oh, my goodness. It's like, it's again, the same example. Oh, my gosh. But am I going to have a YouTube channel if I do my show? And am I going to have all these things? And it's like, and weeks went by and I just didn't show up. Right. And then this weekend, it was so loud and so clear. You need to do it like this week. Enough procrastinating. You have everything you need. What a blessing that is to have all these resources. And so I'm so proud of you. Thank you for bringing that to the conversation. Because a good example of putting that into the journaling would be overthinking. Just Put the word, just overthinking. For those of you that are watching that don't journal, start with one word. I am letting go of overthinking. We already know we're in the full moon meditation, so we know it's about release. Just put overthinking. I let go of it. Just say the words. I let go of it. I surrender yes. it. I give it up because I want to be open to just receive more ideas, more creativity, the right people for your show. You want to be able to call in the right people for those interviews. And so yeah. I'm so excited. And when you come out of your shell, it'll be like a wave <laughs> breaking in the ocean and just you walking out and waving yeah. at everybody. Well, you know, <laughs> thank you. Thank um, you. I also had a, um, a few moments where I, I did have some interviews lined up. But once, you know, my show got, you know, started a little bit, I decided that a couple of the guests that I had lined up, I didn't think that they would fit the format of what I was doing or they wouldn't take to it. And I'm not one that wants to trigger people or I want them to be able to blend in with my show and not feel awkward, uncomfortable or anything like that. Because I take pride in people being comfortable if I'm interviewing them, asking questions. And there was a couple people that I just, after the show kind of started, I didn't feel that it would be a good match for them. And I was out of what I felt out of respect, making that clear to them, listen, I don't want to lose you as a friend or an acquaintance. I don't, I just don't feel that this would be a good match for you and what I'm doing here on the show and they went ballistic on me. And I was like, I thought I was being courteous to, to give you that, that, that respect and to tell you that it, I didn't think it would be a good match for you, but right. I, right. you know, so there's that like fine line of how not to offend somebody, but showing them respect, but people get offended no matter what. So mm -hmm. there's a lot of little dynamics and, and variables that I'm learning along the way here. And, you know, it, it'll come together. I'm working on it very diligently. I do a lot of research. I you know, noticed and, that today. I was so impressed. Yeah, I love learning. <laughs> and, <laughs> you know, to narrow it down, like my show before, you know, my last week's show was about how long should a podcast be? Because that's a great question. How long should it be? And, you know, it depends on topic. And I went through the research on that and got the percentages and all the geek stuff. And, and, and that's what I do because I don't want to just flap my gums and put false information out. 
I want to be as accurate as I can to put out That's good so content. Awesome. So, yes. It, well, thank you. Thank you. It for is all coming this. together. Well, thank you. And I was uh, happy you showed up today and, and um, I appreciate your support. Um, you know, definitely it's, it's been, you know, you're, you're very, you, you make me, you're very humble and very, you know, very outgoing and, and, and happy and all that stuff. So, you know, <laughs> it's contagious. And for me, I journal every day, believe it or not. I, I have a, a template and yeah. every day religiously, I fill out my little journal card and what I do is after three months, I go back through the journal cards and see if there's any patterns of how I'm feeling or what day is it? Is my, am, am I on a schedule of having, you know, moments? So yeah. journal is, is important for a lot of reasons. That's why I, I do fill out my journal card every day. And, and I do analyze that because I analyze everything. That's what I do. <laughs> Well, that's wonderful. I'm so proud of you. Thank you so much for coming up. And I look forward to all of those. Now I want to know who is who is Frankie J going to interview? And I can't wait to watch all of it unfold. We're going to have this conversation to motivate each other every single Monday. So you're welcome to join me at the same time yes. next week. Thank you so much, Frankie J. I appreciate you. Yes, let's go ahead. Thank you, everyone. Take care. Yes, thank you so much. Yes. So let's go ahead and bring up Anthony. And um, I don't know if it's him or his wife. Hello. It is me and not my wife. Okay. <laughs> Welcome, Anthony. I'm so happy that you're here now just for my own benefit since I'm new to Fireside. When it's her, do you change the name on your picture? When it's her, sh her name is on the picture. Oh, okay, good. Okay, so I look forward to meeting her. So welcome. Welcome to the Full Moon and Magic and Mindfulness. How are you doing today? I'm doing well. I, actually, um, I just wanted to come in, on stage to welcome you to Fireside. Oh, uh, thank you're you. like a breath of fresh air. <laughs> Thank you so much. So yeah, so, so nice. I really love that you're here. Um, also, uh, much like you, I'm sure you've been doing this, but uh, listening to epi different episodes on replay, and I caught you in one on replay in someone's show, and uh, we were on the topic of love. Mm -hmm. Um. And it turned into a very in-depth conversation. And I believe that you did such an excellent job. Just right on point. You couldn't have said it any better. Oh. So I love that you did that. I have so much love for you. So just keep doing what you're doing. And um, I'm very happy that you're here. Oh my gosh, you're going to make me cry. Stop it. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And by all means, I will follow you so I can know when your show is on because I am looking forward to, like Frankie J was saying, showing up more on the app in general and being there for each other. You're the second content creator to welcome me to the app that, I, that was a stranger, right? Because Frankie J, I know him from Wisdom, and I'm just so thankful that you would join us. Oh, well, you're welcome. And uh, just real quick, um, as far as when you launched, you know as well as I do that you launched it when you were supposed to launch it. Exactly. Even if you procrastinate it, that doesn't matter. When you launched it was the right time. That's right. That's exactly what I thought. And, you know, even when I realized that the full moon is not tonight, it's on Friday, I was like, well, then why did I book it for Wednesday? And the answer was just so obvious. This is what you all need. You need to have this conversation on Wednesday. So maybe it's because you were supposed to be here. I'm just so thankful the way things flow when yes. you open up to just receive the answer and get in tune like that. And when you flow, it just shows 
it transcends and everybody feels it. So Yes, I agree. <laughs> Well, it was lovely meeting you, and I will be seeing you again, but I have to get up very early in the morning. Oh, well, thank you so, so much for <laughs> staying up. And again, yes, we will be here next Monday at the same time and every Monday from here on out. So I hope to Wonderful. see you and your lovely wife. Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. Oh, and I just want to say hello to someone in your audience, Please Brian. Do. He is, yes, Brian is also new to Fireside, and I uh, watched both of your shows, Brian, so I just want to say keep up the good work, and we love you. Yes. All Thank right. Thank you so much. Thank you, Anthony. Thank you. Oh, my goodness, Brian. Yes. <laughs> and hello, Melem, who joins us all the way from Australia. Melem, I hope you're happy. You're having a wonderful Thursday morning for you. And thank you again for being here. And Brian, did you hear that? <laughs> thank you. So Brian on Monday was talking about something that he's looking forward to this week, which if I remember was some kind of growth in his channels. And now Anthony just... <gasps> That's right. Anthony just showed that you have a brand new member in your audience, Brian. So that's some kind of growth in your channel. I am so happy for you. Look at all those blessings just rolling in because you're working so hard and you're trying to move things along. So we're already at 40 minutes in. I wrote down some of the things that we would like to release because, you know, if you're not going to paint, then I'll do all the painting for you. That's what I'm here to do. We are releasing and letting go of overthinking. We want to be open and just, you know, here's the thing about overthinking. <laughs> you have to think more about meditating, spending time in stillness and quiet. And it's a practice and it takes time to achieve you just sitting there with your eyes closed and just thinking about your breath or thinking about the wind or listening to the music, getting your brain to stop the rattling. And the thing about overthinking is that if you're anything like me, you're also going to get hooked on overthinking in the negative, the negative self-talk. Do you get into that wheel? Again, you know, like Frankie and I were talking about earlier, because I'm not going to do this because I think that I'm not good enough, or it's not good enough, or it's not good enough content, or I don't have good enough sound, or all these things that we, you know, just, they get in the way of our content creation. They get in the way of everything we want to do. If you want to create a relationship, well, call it content, and how are you going to do it? Um, so yeah, we're letting go of overthinking, and Ron is back on stage. Ron, <gasps> Ron, Ron, I noticed yes. that the transcript says R-U-N every time I call your name, but it's, <laughs> yes, it must be my accent. Um, so Ron, what would you like to share? I was just wondering, I was going to ask the question if, you know, I'm not painting, like I said, but uh, is, wait, no, you already said we don't, uh, yeah, no, you asked me if I, did I bring my paint and stuff, right? Yeah, I did. Okay, so I ha don't have that, but maybe I could get my guitar, is that the same? Similar? Or no? it's, it's not the same, but if you want to share a tune, you definitely can. But we will get into the journaling and the painting real quick to then do the meditation. Excellent. But gotcha. are you going to play right now? No, I think I'll just uh, keep it. Uh, when we're, I'm more prepared, then I'll do it. Yes. Okay. That's fine. No problem. Thank you, Graciela. You're going to get a taste of how everything flows. Of course, you're very welcome. And please keep your guitar, you know, there so you can jam at the end for sure i would love that so i feel like you know you the the piano avengers are here yes our very own noble ron from the piano avengers over there on twitter is going to bless us with some live music i can't wait okay thank you so much ron so we're letting go of the should should shoulds oh my gosh the shoots. I should do th this or I should do that. There's a lot of pressure in shoulds. Oh my gosh, now I can't even speak. I'm so excited. Okay, we're letting go of toxic patterns. 
what's a toxic pattern that's getting in your way? And hey, there's no judgment here. If you have a pattern of behavior or a habit that you don't think is toxic, then by all means, we don't need to have that conversation. You do you, you're free to do, you know, to just have agency. But if you're struggling with something that you actually look at and you think this is a toxic pattern, like negative self-talk, if you can recognize that it's getting in your way, then I'm letting go of toxic patterns. Cut the cords with toxic patterns. Just release them. Surrender them so that you can make room for what? Better choices. A different routine. You know, if you have a toxic pattern like scrolling on social media aimlessly, then I'm going to let go of that toxic pattern so that I can transform it into 15 minutes of me researching for the content that I want to create, like Frankie J just mentioned. You know, that's a great pattern that would be a blessing in your life. You know, we think about blessings and we're like, well, a home or a car or I don't know, all these big things things that we think about or maybe the word blessing is a trigger for you because you automatically think you're not worthy because you have beef with the church oh let me tell you it is a blessing that you're here and it is a blessing to just get up every single day and we live in such exciting times you're watching me on your freaking phone right now that is such a blessing and so transform the way that you're speaking to yourself transform the way that you're speaking to other people transform the way that you're communicating with spirit or with the universe or with Allah God Gandhi whatever however you want to call it I just want you to tune in because when you open up you receive those blessings so now I've spoken for too long this might even be longer than an hour, but you know what? I think we all love it so much and we're having a great time. So I'm going to go ahead and walk you through that meditation and then paint over some of the things that we're letting go. So my iPad fell and we're going to do this meditation now. So start getting comfortable, eyes on the floor, or if you want to lie down, by all means do, except you might fall asleep. This will be short. This will be just 10 minutes. Music is brought to you by Brain FM. Yeah, yeah. You can check out their link on my newsletter, which is on my website, which is, you know, a link, a link, a link. Um, my link tree should be somewhere here. And if it's not, I'll definitely add it. And because I have my AirPods today and I didn't have it on Monday, I'm going to need a positive reaction if you can hear this music. And if not... If it doesn't sound too good, then um, we will definitely. So first of all, this is Brain FM, music for your brain. It has focus, relax, sleep, and meditate. We're going to do an unguided meditation. And the genre is atmospheric. Oh, yeah, you can't hear this because it's in my headphones. So let's, oh, now I. I get it. Can you hear me? Everyone, can you hear me? Ron, can you hear me? Thank you, Brian. Now, can you hear the music? <laughs> can you hear the music? Okay, good. All right, so I'm not turning this camera off so you can watch me through it, but hopefully... You close your eyes. <laughs> Give me your hand. Okay, okay, enough. Just settle into this moment. Sit up straight if you're sitting up. Eyes on the ground. I mean, feet on the ground. Eyes closed. And just breathe nice and slow. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. We're just here together. 
under a big bright full moon. We're going to take a deep breath in to activate that vagus nerve. So with me now, take a deep breath in, nice and slow, deep, deep, deep. Just fill those lungs, hold it at the top. One, two, three, four, and let it go. Long, long breath out. And now you're gonna hold it again. One, two, three three, four, and breathe in again. Slow, slow, slow. We're activating the vagus nerve. Hold it at the top. One, two, three, four, and let it go. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Hold it again. One, two, three, four, and Breathe normally. You're going to feel the urge to gasp, and that's okay. Just breathe normal. Bring it back to normal. We activate the vagus nerve to bring our body to complete relaxation. That's the whole, the only purpose that this nerve has on our body, and it's connected between the stomach and the brain and all the other major or organs that are in between, like the heart. So when you activate it, it's really just about settling down, settling that anxiety down. You can do this any time of day when you feel anxious. So just Breathe normal. We're going to do another round of that. But first, with your eyes closed, I want you to imagine that we are in the middle of the forest. All you hear is stillness. All you hear is nothing but trees. And you see all of it because the moon is big and bright. You look up Notice how it shines above you and you take it all in. Slow breathing, nice and slow. You think about all that you want to let go. and all that you want to call in. Eyes up to the sky and you take a deep breath in. Deep, 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 nice and slow. Hold it at the top, one, two, three, four, and you let it go nice and slow. Hold it again. One, two, three, four. Deep breath in, nice and slow. Just breathe it in. You have big lungs, just fill them up. Hold it one, two, three, four, and let it go. With Every exhale, you just let go. Breathe nice and slow. Bring your awareness back to your slow, normal breathing. And before 
we continue. You look up and ponder all the love, all the blessings shining upon you just like the light from the moon. Bring your awareness to your hands, hand to your heart, and just think or say, I am loved, I am seen, I am open to receive. Bring your awareness to your body. Open your eyes. Come back to me. Yeah, yeah. Yay. Thank you. I hope that was good. <laughs> Wake up, everybody. We are going to go ahead and paint over these things that we want to release. We are going to go ahead and, um, you know, we talked about releasing, overthinking, releasing the shorts, releasing the toxic patterns. Um, we are talking about releasing the fear of judgment. You know, is there something that you would like to do, but you're not doing it because someone on the other side of that interaction could reject you in some way? You know, are you holding yourself from asking a question because you're afraid of being rejected? Then do you want to ask the question? And if you really do, if it is your heart's desire to ask or to send a query, or to invite someone to do something because you're afraid of being rejected, then this is the moment to let go of the fear. And then hopefully tomorrow when the sun comes up, you're ready to take that step. You're ready to ask the question, or you're at least ready to take a step towards that which is holding you back. That's what the release is about. That's the type of fear that I mean when I say, you know, when you read in my content, let's go of fear. Well, I mean, let go of fear. Well, what does that even look like? What does it even mean? Well, let's name the fear. Fear of judgment. Fear of no one tuning in. Fear of no one watching the replay. Feel, uh, 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 fear of no one getting it. As a content creator, those are some of the fears that we struggle with daily. Honestly, if there's any content creator that says they don't go through these things, I honestly probably wouldn't believe it because I feel like there's at some point, maybe at some point in the day that we all go through it. We all feel it. And so letting go of it, that's what the full moon is about. This is the time to let go of the things that are holding us back so that for the new moon, we can plant the seeds of the things we want to watch grow. And we are going to ponder, what does it look like when it grows? You know, in the new moon, we're going to plant that little tiny acorn. And we know that it's going to look like an amazing, strong, big oak tree right? The tree is in the acorn. And that's what the new moon is going to be about. Every single month, the new moon is going to be about harvesting and, and, and planting the seeds that we want to watch grow. And so it's a process. This is why this show is just going to happen with that much frequency, because those are the things we're going to do. So we're painting over this and then we're going to paint something over it. And I like to use black paint because it's the new moon and the full moon. And I just like the color black and it's the best thing to paint over something and then paint over it. And let me tell you this huge jar of paint. 
I bought it by mistake. I didn't even realize how big this was. And this is screen painting paint. So this is why it works so good. Clearly, I am not like Bobby Bicker or an actual painter artist, but I painted black over what I journaled. And what was under here for the benefit of those watching is what we just talked about. All of the fears, all of the things we're letting go of, overthinking, everything else. Hello, Paul Vato. Paul Vato is here. So we're painting over it. And now, um, you know, we wait for this to dry. And then we create something beautiful over it. Here's here's one of them. And it's just been so amazing to share this experience with you all. Um, we're going to do this for the full moon and for the new moon every single month. So I hope that you join me. Polvato is here. Yeah, yeah. Polvato, I'm inviting you up if you would like to come and share about this discussion that we're having. And we just had a wonderful um, conversation about um, the things that are getting in the way of the things that we want to create. We talked about it in the context of content creators, in the context of life. We had several people join me earlier, so let's see if anybody else would like to come up. Brian Coletto must have fallen asleep, and we're right now just waiting for this to dry, and then I'm going to paint over it. The full moon is all about... Oh, Ron, you're here. Yes. So... <laughs> I'm excited for you to get the materials that you need. Would you like to sing us a song or play a song now since you brought it up earlier? I was just going to play uh, this, uh, like a little melody, just kind of mess around. Just, uh, But I call it Graciela and F. Graciela and if, like I-F? No, an F uh, major. Oh, in F major. <laughs> yes, thank you. I need translation. It's like my, my biolinguistic brain needs translation. But if I may, Ron, before you begin, I would like to say hello to Brian. Of course, of course. Thank you so much. Brian is up on the stage, everybody. Hi, Brian. Hi, Graciela. How are you doing? I'm doing okay. How are you? I am wonderful. So happy that you're here and thankful to have this conversation again. Look at us. We are seeing each other again two days in a row. Well, I mean, you know what I mean. Saw each other Monday and now we're here. <laughs> yes. Oh, I'm so happy that you joined me. Thank you so much. And, you know, you've been here for a while. You've heard this conversation. Did you hear about Anthony joining your show? I did hear about Anthony joining my show, yes. How did you feel when he said that? Um, I felt good. Yes, I'm so happy that you have a brand new viewer, someone that hopefully will join you live soon. Let's just call that in, call that blessing in. And I'm just so excited to watch what happens and to, you know, be in this conversation with you. So thank you again. Thank you for having me. Yay. I'm so proud. So thank you. Ron, are you going to play? Sure. Can you hear? I can hear. Okay. I was expecting the one lower that. Dun. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yes, thank you so much. Would you like to see what I painted today? Yes. So in honor of our first full moon, I painted a fireside flame. That is fantastic. There you go. That's it. See, like I am not a painter. If you were expecting Bobby Bicker and something beautiful, I don't. I'm not that kind of artist. I just journal and then paint over it for the sake of this experience. And so this is it. This is all you all have to do. All, thank you. Thank you, Malam. All I did was use two colors, black and silver. I have other colors here. And sometimes, you know, we like to use the red a lot because sometimes there's like a fire moon or a red blood moon or I don't know what else. And so, you know, I like to be thematic. <laughs> and so, yeah, here we go, everyone. This is it. This is all that I am asking you to do. It's not complicated. It's not difficult. And you don't need talent to do it. All you need when it comes to this conversation about mindfulness and motivation, all you need is your intention. Your intention can go a long way when it comes to the things that you want to do, even if you think that, oh, I suck at it, or I'm not good enough, or I'm not ready yet. You know, that's negative self-talk too and lack of confidence to think that I'm not ready. I'm not ready to do this. I'm not ready to do this. Well, you know what? Yes, you are. Yes, you are. If you're really thinking about it, then you're ready to take that next step. And it's like, I'm just here to remind you of these things and to have this conversation so that hopefully you're motivated to create what you want to create and to have the life that you want and the life that you most certainly deserve. So thank you again. Thank you for coming. Kevin, you are joining us right at the very end, but please stay tuned to watch the replay. This show is going to happen every Monday. Thank you so much. Every Monday at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 7 p.m. for those in Pacific. And then we're going to meet for the full moon and the new moon, so watch out for those. And for the benefit of watching, of those watching in the replay, this show is about motivation, mindfulness, and just taking the time to really think about your life and strategize, always with a lot of love and motivation. So thank you again for coming. Thank you, thank you so much for supporting this show. Please share it with the world. Share it with your own Fireside followers. Find it on YouTube and find me everywhere. <laughs> I am on Instagram as songofmyself.ig and on Twitter as SOM Coaching. So I look forward to connecting with you all and having a one-on-one. -on -one. That would be amazing. So thank you again. I hope that you have a wonderful night and a wonderful full moon happening on Friday. Have a good night, everyone. <laughs> Bye.